loses to Mia in Grand Finals, but we'll just have to see. So now okay. we've got Umeki versus Darukun, and... Darukun... Um... As a commentary, I don't like to make uh, investments, but I do like to see Rarukun play because he... He's kind of a lunatic. He is, in, he is insane. He is sick with it, you could say. He is so good. And a lot of people, of course, they don't like Luigi because of, like, all the cheese he has. And it's like, oh, it's just a touch of death character. But the way Laru Kun plays, I keep calling him Kun, like that, like, that was not a zero to death. I mean, that would uh, be a stupid, but that was a call out. And he, that was him taking advantage of a situation. And it was basically a zero to death, even though it wasn't a combo. It was just him... He pushed Umeki off once, once, and then played from there. Exactly. That's why it makes uh, Rarukun such a um, lethal Luigi, is that he doesn't rely on the zero to us. He just knows oh. he's got another bomb bomb. Oh, no! That was, that was a really good trade there for Umeki. Yeah, we take those all day. So, Umeki basically, yeah, I mean, he's still at a like 90% deficit, but that can be brought back with... Basically, one or two turn-up combos pretty easily. And there it starts. There is 40. Ooh, Ladukun, really good uh, SDI down below the ledge to avoid the next hit. The thing about uh, combos against Luigi is like, they have to be airtight because he does have that frame escape option. Mm. Oh. Shout out down B. And there it is. Exactly. It's Yeah, it's a combo starter. It's a combo breaker. And it makes Julian fries. Oh, boy. That was one yeah. big whip there from Mickey. Let's, yeah. let's live another day, but i have to play extra cautious against Arkun. Yeah, it's... Oh, no! Ah, went too... Rip. You went too low. You never go that low. You never go that low. No, I mean, Yeah, it's... yeah unless you're Sora or Pit, you don't really go that deep. Boy. Yeah, unless you're Sora, Pit... Steve or like anybody else with like an insanely good recovery. Yeah, you don't go that. I I mean, it was obviously a mistake. You could see him in the yeah. uh, player cam reel his head back after that because you know he didn't want to go that low. I love it when players do the rear back. I mean, it, it's good when players show emotion. It shows they're invested. So, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's okay. yeah, it's a rough scenario just because that tornado covers so much, so many options. You can't really roll. Yeah. Yes, they can't jump. I, you could probably get it. You could probably get up, attack it, but that's. I don't think you can because that's armor. I don't know. I think it depends if your attack is. I don't know if your if your Bowser it may work, but other than that, like with people who don't have or characters who don't have the strongest get up attack, I think it just sucks you in like a cyclone, and then you just get like hit fifty times and then knocked in a really really bad angle. Yeah, this is one of those moves you just have to learn learn to live with. Yeah. I don't remember who it was. He was a play, a really good, elegant. He did a bunch of weird stuff, so he's not relevant anymore. But, <laughs> but um, he, he, what's he, it called? He always, he always did down B drop off from the ledge to kind of get, and it covered almost every ledge option. It was super cheesy, but it was such a good option. I haven't really seen uh, Robert Kuhn do that. He just mostly fires the plunger. The launch is at such a slow and obnoxious angle. It could be annoying to deal with. I know, right? Yeah, I, I think that's, a, that's the name of the game with uh, Robert Kuhn's Luigi. It's just being obnoxious. I mean, that's like every Luigi. <laughs> that's true. No, no offense, no offense if there are any Luigi players in chat. But, nah, um... nah, I, think, I think they're used to hearing that. Let's be real. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, yeah, you're right. It's like, yeah, Jarvis but... Right. You kind of see it with like how Rogue Kun's playing right now. He's just abusing the heck out of that dash attack, using a lot of plungers just to keep Umeki on ledge, using some of those really fast moves to keep Umeki in shield, and then, and then like when he gets a hit, it's not too hard to chase AC down for either an up B or a down B. Yeah, I know. It's like it's funny just because. Spe Ooh, really good counter coming in from Umeki. That was so smart. And I was good. I was actually just about to point out, like, Larukun, he's good. He's incredibly talented, but man, is he mashy. 
There we go. I mean, I, I mean, I don't blame him. I mean, Luigi's moves are. I, mean, I would. Also, I would play Luigi too. It's just like, oh, I have a bunch of really good moves that I can throw out, like That's constantly. It. Why would I not? Try to go for the counter to Luigi out. The thing about Luigi's recovery is that it's actually kind of bad. It's mm. very vulnerable to uh, counters. And fun fact about and fun fact about side B, unless it's a misfire, it has a negative hitbox, so you can basically just throw a hitbox out and always beat it. Yeah, but then you get hit with misfire once, and then you're like, ugh, now I'm afraid to do that. Hey, you know what? Speaking... Hey, you know what? Though sometimes you just gotta roll the dice. You gotta roll the dice, man. And that's what. That's what Ladukun just did on that down B, and he evened it up. I mean, Umeki has a big lead right now. What, 80%? If he gets a forward air, that's going to be it. But Ladukun air dodges yeah. back to stage. Good shield. Yeah, like, here's the thing, though. It's even on percents, or, like, it's very heavily in uh, Umeki's favor in terms of percents, but... Easy gets comboed. Yeah, and there's one grab right now. If he if he's still low percent, uh, I don't think Umeki's gonna give it to him. But if he gets one, if um, uh, there there guy is, is, yeah, that's what I mean about that. If Radakun would have gotten one grab, that could have been the game right there. But uh, Umeki's too good of a player to give that to him. I feel like most players of this caliber aren't gonna really give any Luigi player. Oh, here I'm at zero percent. Why don't you grab me? Yeah, I think most players, if you're playing against like really high level Luigi's, they know it's a not get grabbed, or they have like like a like a Simon in the back pocket for the matchup, or something like that. Exactly, or a Samus, because Samus does really well in that matchup too. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I, I, if I fight Luigi in brackets, I go Simon. I just don't want to deal with it. Uh, who would? Uh, I'll never forget though. I think it was at the last Ume. No, it it was Umebura or the last Kagadibi. I don't remember, but um. I was talking to T, and then I was like, hey, I played on your stream the other day. He was like, oh, really? I was like, yeah, I just oh, I yeah, I mean, randomly I met that. you on VIP. And he was like, oh, you who do you play? I was like, I play Samus. He's like, wait, wasn't I playing Luigi? I was like, yeah. And he was like, and you lost, man. You must be bad. I'm like, yeah, that's why I'm a commentator, man. And also, you're a top 50 player in the world. I'm not going to beat you, if, even if you're, like, playing on random. Come on. So. Actually, I saw random random aside. I actually saw T at Red Bull Arena once because he, he was practicing Tekken for a Tekken uh, exhibition he was a part of. He walked past the uh, uh, with Zach Wayne, everyone. Yeah, the, he walked past the setup and like he did the uh, the American like "What's up?" Uh, motion to me. That's pretty. Uh, that's a very he is T very like. American. That was a very T like maneuver. Anyway, engine over. Yeah, we all do. Anyway, uh, engine over Umeki is that's it yeah oh good what? di you went exactly up to the left corner that was an optimal di, DI and then that was <laughs> that was an optimal four smash from uh ouija yeah it it's it's a good like luigi reminds me of dr mario in a sense to where all of his moves hit so hard that was a sick combo by the way i'm not gonna lie yeah, Luigi that does have screen. some. Yeah, Luigi does have some hands, but the problem is, is that like if you know how to keep them out, it's rough times for uh, Charlie Day. Right. Shout out charge shot, but um, <laughs> he's still. I don't know. Radiku oh, has boy. an insane lead. I didn't even notice he's on his first stock, and he is just like pummeling Umeki right now. I mean, Umeki's a, uh, Umeki is an adapter, so even if um, Ladukun gets this game, he'll probably still have the next one, but this is probably going to be an... Uh, yeah, yep. that's it. There it is. Think, that's the thing about, like, well, the thing about Luigi is that he's also really good at punishing mistakes because just because he has so many combo mm -hmm. options, and those combos tend to land in a KO, KO move, like the super punch or the down B. I... So when, whenever Umeki does make a mistake... And that's basically what happened. There was just a few mistakes there that ultimately caused him to get, uh, you know, the three stocks. I know. I mean, it's it's like how do I explain this? With playing Samus, when I play, if I play against the Luigi, I'm like, oh man, this character is not very good. But then I see somebody at the level of Ladakun playing, and I'm like, dang, this is a good character. What? 
why is this character not in top 10? But So, okay, I think there's um there's a certain kind of matchup ca category that doesn't really get discussed enough, and that's just that's just annoying. Mm. And that's, that's where, like, Luigi falls. The characters like Luigi who, and, like, uh, maybe Bowser Jr. and Duck Hunt. Like, they may not be oh the best God. characters. <laughs> I, I knew you were going to... I just brought up two characters that you hate, but... Well, well, actually, Bowser Jr. doesn't... Samus, in my opinion, goes even or beats Bowser Jr. Because it's when they kind of try and come in with their little go-kart, it's like, okay charge shot so i mean that it's not that bad but no duck hunt it's just annoying and yeah, no, that character's annoying but we don't have duck hunt we don't we don't have the dog or uh junior right now we have bg and the princess oh. and bg went low okay, yeah, he, made it back. he made it back he didn't air dodge very very good of vlada to not panic in that situation but yeah, i mean I he's just gonna be looking for an opening to get one of his combo starters because every time even if it hasn't led to um, the stock, every combo Lado can get is like 70%. It's just insane how much damage output, not even just Luigi, but that Lado kun is able to pull out. That, okay. Exactly. And not only that, it's just that Umeki has to be really cautious about his combos because you can't really go for those like fancy Umeki make your hand combos because you're going to get hit by down B. Like that. To be fair, that was a combo into uh, down B. Oh no, yeah. oh no. Oh no. Is this it? Yeah. Jesus. That combo so stupid. Yeah, I mean, I love Umeki. Umeki's my goat, but I love Umeki. unless he just does some insane stuff right now, this this is looking like the set's going to Larukun as seeded. So. Yeah, anyway, Larukun's definitely, uh, he's definitely been playing really. And when it comes to these Kansai tournaments, he's definitely playing, uh, playing on fire. Wonder how he's gonna do at Kagadibi coming up during Golden Week. Ah, uh, the misfire didn't work out for him. Because one reason I say that is, especially with Elegant not really in the mix anymore, the only really insane Luigi player I can think of is Lugi from the UK. You pronounce it Lu Is it pronounced Lugi? I've been, I've been saying Lu I've been calling him Luigi. I don't know. I know what you're there's talking about. That. Whatever. But anyways, okay. So there's Ladokun with the set as seated. So now he goes up against Yauda. Goatiest yeah. of goats. So. Yeah. yeah. Hey, this is a good matchup for Simon, so you can't be Malden. It is. It is. It is. No, I mean. It's fun. I'm not going to mold, but if. I mean, if. We'll have to see. But in the same time, <laughs> I mean, we, can't say we we have to see. Yeah, I mean, but just Ladukun, he's he's just so sick with it that it's hard for me to be upset. I mean, we haven't seen the matches, so I don't know, but he's he's when you see a character, even if the character's broken, when you see somebody who's just so talented, it's hard to be like mauled or be upset about it. I know people are probably going to say a lot of stuff about this, but one example I have is Cola, and I know people love to say, "Oh, if it wasn't for Steve, he'd be he'd be like a he'd be working at Burger King or whatever people say." But be, be like, be like this, people he'd probably be working at Burger King anyway because well, I should have money, but and he's in high school. But aside, aside from that, but um, just a Cola like. The way he parries, the way he plays. Of course, Steve is broken. There's no getting around it. But Akola is just so talented. He's so good at the game. I want to see Akola win a uh, win a major with Donkey Kong. He has a DK. He's not gonna win a major with Donkey Kong. He tried to pull that out against Spargo, and you saw how that went. <laughs> give, him another, give, give, give him another chance. It will come out. Uh, I could see him winning a major with 